Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Bosch is rolling out some updates for their 2020 motors. Not all of them, it's just the Performance Line CX, Performance Line Speed, Cargo Line, and Cargo Line Speed. These four drive units, they're the high power, high torque drive units. In short, they, they're going from 75 Newton meters of torque up to 85 Newton meters of torque. And they're introducing this like EMTB mode update. So EMTB is this really dynamic mode where it gives you 140 to 340% assist. So it's not just like 50%, 100%, 340%. It's like, it's a wider range of support. And it's great for mountain biking or if you wanna do a wheelie, because it's dynamic. Like it, the harder you push, the more it responds. Uh, Bosch drive systems for e-bikes, they measure pedal torque, paddle cadence, and rear wheel speed over a thousand times per second. So they're very dynamic and you know, it's interesting to see how, how this will go. You don't have to update to EMTB mode, but the idea is that a lot of times when you're climbing on a mountain bike and your cranks get halfway through a revolution, well, you're, you're not pushing down anymore. You almost need a little bit of momentum to get through that pedal stroke and to keep climbing, especially if you're going at a slow speed on technical terrain. So extended boost is a part of this update. We're getting you know, more motor torque and this extended boost mode to help you up those technical sections. I'm a, I'm a little bit like, huh, I wonder what that's actually gonna be like because I might purposely want to kind of stall and balance and if the motor isn't cutting out right when I want it to, it's like give, you're giving a surgeon uh, an instrument that's a little bit less precise. That's how I feel as, as like a mountain biker. At the same time, for a lot of people, I think it's gonna help them climb a little bit easier and feel more secure on what amounts to a heavier bicycle. You know, most e-bikes and especially Bosch e-bikes tend to weigh more, especially if they have that power to battery pack. Um, so uh, before I share this presentation that, that Bosch did the other day, and you can hear directly from their reps, uh, I wanna talk about Bosch as a company. You know, they've been around since 2009 is when Bosch e-bike systems launched within the Bosch parent company. A uh, bunch of different motors over, over those years. And now they're gonna have like seven motors in total. So we'll have the Active Line and Active Line Plus these motors are sort of for neighborhood riding. I'm not a huge fan of the regular active line motor because it doesn't offer a whole lot of torque. It's like 40 Newton meters compared to 75 and now 85 Newton meters for this, those high-end motors. And, and they only support a, a pedal cadence of 105 RPM strokes per minute or 110 for the active line plus motor. So that means if you're going towards a hill and you downshift because you need to like give yourself a mechanical advantage and you're pedaling faster, well, the motor can't support really fast spinning. Again, for most neighborhood riders, it's not a big deal, but that's one of the trade-offs. And then they, the, the third motor is their performance line motor, which, which really bothers me that they called it that because it kind of looks like the two active line motors, the casing and stuff. And I asked Bosch, I'm like, come on, it's gotta be the same hardware, right? You know, you're just like changing the performance of it. And they were like, no, it, you know, it has, there's difference, you know, it's more powerful. So great, you know, and that one starts to offer 120 RPM, but it does look a lot like the active line motors. And then we got up to like what I consider like you know, the higher end performance line motors. And that's these four, Performance Line CX, Performance Line Speed, Cargo Line, Cargo Line Speed. Those are the four that get this software update. It is free, you gotta go into your dealer and maybe you pay them a, a, a fee because they gotta spend 20, 30 minutes like connecting your bike and, and updating it. But it does seem like that's gonna be worthwhile. And you know, it's it's neat that you get this kind of for free. It's It's a neat update to sort of jump ahead in line. Having that extra torque I think it makes them more competitive with like some of the Brosa motors or Shimano, Yamaha. Those are their, their big competitors. There's also Bafang, but um, I think it's sort of the European more refined uh, drive systems where they have multi-sensors and stuff. Those are their real competition. And for starting off, especially with a cargo bike, especially at low cadence, you know, yeah, you can shift down to a lower gear and that's really gonna help. But what you need is that extra motor support to get you you know, get you started or pedaling really slowly climbing up a hill. And that's what you really get from going from 75 Newton meters to 85 Newton meters. So here you go, here's the presentation. Let's start with the performance line speed. It is designed for use on s pedelex and offers support up to 45 kilometers per hour. For Model Year 21, we will provide even more torque with a software update. This will enable the drive unit to speed riders with a torque of 85 Newton meters. And this ensures a more powerful and dynamic riding sensation, which is evident when riding with low cadences. High speeds can be achieved quickly 
and long distances can be covered effortlessly. Our drive system for e-cargo bikes, the Cargo Line, is also receiving an increase of power. The drive unit is available in two versions, with a support up to 25 km per hour or for the Cargo Line speed up to 45 km per hour. Our software update will not only benefit cargo bikers with a stronger torque of up to 85 Nm, they will also experience more dynamic support. The motor provides even more powerful support in low cadences. This eases uphill starts and acceleration when transporting heavy loads. The software update for the cargo line can be installed by bike dealers from summer 2020 onwards. However, the cargo line speed and performance line speed cannot be retrofitted. We are showing you the new performance line CX, our e-mountain bike drive unit for model year 20. This drive unit is light and compact, yet extremely powerful and efficient. It offers maximum thermal stability and great efficiency. Thus, we have set a new benchmark in the e-mountain bike area, and we have also received a great deal of positive feedback and won quite some awards. Of course, this is very welcome. This also pushes us to achieve more. We are continuously developing our drive units and also aim to further optimize the e-mountain bike experience. Therefore, we present an extensive software update for the Performance Line CX for Model Year 21. The update offers e-mountain bikers even more riding dynamics, agility and intuitive handling on trails. In order to achieve this, we first of all increased the torque to 85 Newton meters. This ensures faster and more powerful acceleration, especially at low cadences. Moving off on steep ascents is made significantly easier. The performance upgrade offers full power over broad cadence range. This enables to master unpredictable riding situations even more effectively. For example, in the case of late gear shifting or accelerating out of tight corners. Riding remains very smooth, even when in turbo mode, pedaling strong while standing. We have also taken the EMTB mode to the next level. In the progressive riding mode, motor support adapts to the individual riding style depending on the pedal pressure. The software update further refines this mode. New sensor and motor control functions now provide even more dynamic and natural support in an extended cadence range. This ensures a more natural and dynamic riding sensation. Organic handling on the trail improves significantly. Traction control improves and startup behavior is also much finer and more sensitive, especially in low gears. The extended boost as a new feature of the e-mountain bike mode ensures improved performance in challenging sections on trails. This helps e-mountain bikers to surmount exposed routes, steps and stones even uphill. The system responds by applying the right pressure to the pedal in any given situation. In a fraction of a second, it provides a dynamic push to surmount an obstacle. The e-mountain bike can be maneuvered with agility and ease through technically challenging sections, thanks to the extended boost. This increases the flow and reduces the tendency for pedals to jam. The software update provides maximum riding enjoyment on the trail. It can be retrofitted for all e-bikes with Performance Line CX, introduced in Model Year 20 onwards, and is available from bike dealers in summer. Well, there you have it, guys. Bosch makes some of my favorite e-bike systems. Uh, they do tend to be a little bit more expensive, and sometimes I'm like, why do they have so many drive units? Like, do we really need Active Line? I don't love it, to be honest with you, but I, you know, it makes the bike cheaper, and it's probably more of a battery sipper than some of these higher end motors, right? With more power. So it depends on the type of riding you want to do. Uh, I feel like Bosch does a great job supporting their customers. They've got this two year comprehensive warranty and all these dealers and stuff where you can go in and actually get set up or get a software update like we see here. I also want to call out that Bosch is not a public company. They're 93% owned uh, as, as like a charitable organization, the Bosch Foundation. And then the rest is sort of the Bosch family. So they're able to make long term bets and really put money into positive things, which I think e-bikes really are. But the foundation, they focus on human rights, environmental sustainability, and uh, they, they have a dedication to not supply weapons manufacturing parts, which is kind of neat considering that they do have all these automotive parts and stuff. That's probably not insignificant uh, dollar value there. And I, I just thought that was kind of cool, something I learned while I was 
studying all the details of, of the motor updates and getting to know the company a little bit more. I hope that helps you guys out. This is not a promoted video or anything. I, I just like to share what I'm learning as we go and have like an authentic conversation and um, you know help you find the right bike for whatever your lifestyle and your budget is. So hope you have a good one. We'll see you next time.